here's an example of a verse chorus pair um, that really contrasts quite a bit in spite of the fact that it's built over the same chord progression. So one of the first things you can do if you're stuck for ideas for how to create a contrasting verse and chorus is take the same chord progression and write a variation on it. You can uh, use the pitch variations or in this case I use the rhythmic variations. For instance, in the verse you hear this version of the A minor Dorian progression. Notice that the chord rhythm is irregular. Notice that it's a two bar harmonic phrase. Uh, but it's just two chords, A minor and D. In the chorus, however, this is uh, the version of the same chord progression that I used. A minor, D, A minor, D. Notice that here the chord rhythm is very regular. Notice that it's only a one bar harmonic phrase. So that's one way of contrasting. Another way I set it up to be contrasting is uh, there's four lyric phrases in the verse. There's only two lyric phrases in the chorus. Um, so you will hear um, the, n the number of phrases is also different in each section. So it's the uh, length of the phrase um, in the verse. Um, all the melodic phrases are two bars long. Whereas in the chorus, you're going to hear these big, long four-bar phrases. And between the long four-bar phrases, the high notes, the ending on the tonic note, the big space of two measures after the title is sung. And then the exact repetition, where the title uh, and the chords and everything else is just repeated exactly, really make that thing uh, stand out within itself and then also uh, when it contrasts with the preceding verse. So listen to that overall um, uh, way that the chorus uh, is, is shown to the audience to be the high point of the song. Did you also notice that the melody of the verse uses the blues pentatonic scale on top of the Dorian progression? That brings in a little bit more of that blues edginess into the lyrics and helps to bring out that emotion in this, uh, what is an emotional roller coaster ride between these two people.